Good morning, Digital Business Communication Class. As I mentioned to your GIS Day group leaders, we have a project and it's time sensitive, and I will be in meetings Thursday and Friday. So I'm challenging you to demonstrate your capabilities and to get the job done with minimum supervision. So let's get started. Uh, the overview. Uh, Ms. Lopez has provided an initial lesson plan, and this will change. The outline should be basically, basically the same, but there will be a few tweaks. Timeline. Time is critical. The next PBI lesson is Tuesday, October 4th. We must have a quality draft on Friday, end of class, that we will submit to Ms. Lopez. With her suggestions, we will finalize it on Monday during second period class, which I will be there. Our audience, remember, we are creating a sway that teachers will use to teach their class. We must keep that perspective that they are our clients. Your fellow students are the end audience. All of us should become very knowledgeable about tardiness and attendance as that is what our uh, sway is going to be about. That's what the PBS lesson is, a, is about. Our approach. We will use the practice we did on the previous PBIS lesson as a model. It will be slightly different as we are taking the outline and transforming it into the lesson. Uh, you have a bit more time, not a lot. I know you will do a fantastic job. We will use the team structures for the GIS Day projects for the PBIS project. Team leaders, you need to meet, divide up the work by groups, uh, select the group leaders who will be the lead and assistant for the class. And that's from the group leaders uh, that are already been appointed for the GIS Day project. You're going to have a class lead and assistant for this project. But you must all work together to be successful. So we want to use a shared sway uh, or for each group to work in. Uh, resources. I will provide you with the current outline as I received it and a possible breakdown structure, a suggestion. But you are free to make uh, modifications as long as they fall within uh, the basic uh, guidelines that Ms. Lopez sent. Feel free to email me in my absence. I should be able to reply fairly quickly, especially on Friday. A few tips. Use videos where possible instead of text. Appropriate humor is always a good thing. Uh, keep the theme consistent throughout. And uh, we want to do want we do want to provide video interaction. Uh, for example, you do a video demonstrating what students should do, then create like a pause slide or sway card uh, that lets teachers and students know it's time for them to participate. Similar to what you did uh, when you practiced the PBIS lesson beforehand. All right, so go ahead uh, organize, get started, similar to what you did in the PBS lesson. Uh, all of this is available on Haiku, so I have provided you the uh, information that she had and a suggestion for how you can break down uh, the lesson uh, into different uh, sway cards. But remember, you're free to change that. Uh, just remember, you need to keep this appropriate. This is going to be uh, seen school-wide. So uh, you're on. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.